Hello everyone. So here we come with the iliosoas. Two muscles forming iliosoas. One iliacus and the second one is psoas major. Now iliacus we know that it comes from the iliac fossa. But the psoas major it comes from the uh, lumbar vertebra and both the muscles goes and inserts over the lesser trochanter there. Okay, so this is the area where they make iliopsoas. Okay, here is the iliacus part, here is the psoas part, and here it becomes one and becomes iliopsoas. All right. Now, psoas major we don't needle in the abdomen. Why? Because we have so many abdominal structures here, so many organs here, so we can't go and needle psoas major there, okay? But we can needle iliacus here and we can needle iliopsoas here, okay? So two trigger points will be there for us, okay? <coughs> Let's check out the trigger points. So here we have the trigger points. This trigger point is for psoas major. This one is for iliacus and the lower one is for iliopsoas. And you can see that is the referral pattern for iliopsoas. Back and the front of thigh. So whenever your patient complains of any pain in the lower back here and here in the front thigh, then it is going to be iliopsoas. Okay. So let's palpate the trigger points on the model here. Okay, so that's our ASIS over here and that's the iliac crest. So inside the iliac crest we have iliac fossa. Just imagine the 3D view there. Okay, so what we are gonna do is we have to palpate inside the iliac crest that's beneath the iliac crest and go inside the iliac fossa and palpate it there. Is it painful? Yes. So that's the trigger point for iliacus. Okay, so as major we can of course palpate it over here going deep but we don't want, uh, we, got, uh, we are not gonna needle that. Okay, alright. So first is Iliacus over here. I'm gonna mark it there. And then we have iliopsoas down there. Now, for doing iliopsoas first, we have to check for the femoral pulsations. That's in the inguinal area here. Okay? So let's check for the femoral artery pulsation over there. Okay, perfect. So here is the femoral artery. So do you know the femoral structures here? That's the vein. Sorry. That's the artery adjacent to that. And we have a nerve here. So that's van, vein, artery, and nerve. Okay. So what we do is we have to avoid this area. Okay, now one one finger difference is vein, artery, and nerve, and leaving one more finger over here in the same line of ASIS, we go down and check for the trigger point. First, we palpate the muscle by keeping the fingers and ask the patient to flex the hip. Okay, go back. Can you do it again for me? Go back. Again, please. Yeah, relax. Okay, perfect. One more time, please. All right, so here is the muscle. Relax. Don't confuse it with the rectus femoris. So, here is the trigger point there. In the same line of ASIS, you will get the trigger point here. Okay, and you have to go directly perpendicular you can't go medial at any half okay either you go slightly oblique outwards or you go perpendicular with a 25 mm needle only so 
we sanitize the patient's area to be needle. Sanitize the therapist's hand. Wear the gloves. Take a 25 mm of needle. Trap the trigger point over there and go perpendicular. Alright. So here we go. Okay. Perfect. Can you feel that? Yeah. So the referral pattern would be in the frontal thigh and the back of neck there. Sorry, back. At the back, lower back. Okay. The another needle is in the iliac fossa. For him, 25 would be enough there also. Otherwise, you can take 40 and even 60 in case of a hefty patient. Okay, so how to hook this as you have to just pull away the abdominal structures here and you have to hook the iliac crest there and you go inside the iliac fossa just inside yes like that yeah perfect can you feel that here yeah? I can feel the iliac fossa inside with the needle there perfect I'm getting the twitch over there, yes? Can you feel that twitch? Yeah, perfect. All right. But keep in mind, you have to just hold the abdominal cavity. Because else the abdominal cavities will put a pressure over the needle and